question. So now, since we've introduced both puppies, Diesel and Bentley, to the little dog individually, and everybody's fine, now we're in, in a yard, and we got the, the three dogs all together. They're already calm individually with this puppy, so make sure you keep the leash loose. So one person per puppy. Come. Come. And then call them back to you. Good. Good. Don't try to do this at first until you're super comfortable with handling the dogs. Don't try to do this with two dogs with one person. Come. Come. Always have good another person. And and um, Darian's just met this puppy, so he's not used to handling handling her. Him? No, that's her. Ben, that. <laughs> That's Bentley, this is Diesel. He's not used to handling her, so, but this is good because this is how she reacts to somebody. And they may all want water, so go ahead and let her have water if she wants. They're, they're more interested in the, in the little dog, although Diesel wants. Oh. There you go. Good. So it's just a great, another great training exercise to just whenever they show even the slightest little bit of interest in the first introduction, or actually the first few introductions, the first few times you actually go to hang out with a puppy, or the, excuse me, the small dog, um, just practice calling them back. Whenever they show any kind of small come. interest, come, and you good. call them back to, to each person, good. Each person saying come, calling back their individual dog to them. It breaks that interest every time you do that. It makes the, the little dog more and more irrelevant, takes the interest away, and actually puts the focus on the people handling the dogs. They're gonna be way more focused on you and not so much on the little dog. Come. Come. Good. So the, the wild card in the situation is, this is the little dachshund type dog that we have who happens to be a pretty happy little, well-adjusted little dog. Come. Come. But if, they're, if you're trying to introduce them to a dog that's old, uh, that's snappy, that's aggressive, that's cranky, that's super scared or shy, all bets are off because even if these dogs are, um, they're, they're easily to easy, easy to handle around a uh, you know, normal dog. Come. They're doing their Come. commands. Old dogs, shy dogs, something where there's not something that's quite right with the little dog can trigger other behaviors, so you gotta be super careful. And maybe if there's a, there's a little dog that you want them to be good with, and that dog has any of those issues, just keep, keep that dog away from them. Because unless you're watching them at all times, that kind of super sh uh, insecurity in a little dog, or, or uh, old age, anything like that, crankiness, because old dogs can be cranky, any kind of uh, snippiness, because you've got a, you're talking about a dachshund, and they can be snippy at at all times, especially when they're old and cranky. That could trigger that ba bad behaviors from these types of dogs, from the puppies. So better if you're not sure about it, just keep them separate. But this is how to intro them to a secure, nice small dog. Come. Come. Good. Very good. So we're just practicing another variation of uh, distraction. Little dog, Bobby Sue's gonna walk the little dog around us. They're in downstays, go ahead and reward him. I'm rewarding her. And it's just another way to practice your downstay. Little dog's having a great time. But parading a little dog around while, no. And that little dog, try to keep the little dog from going up to them. Manage the leash so that the, she stays like three or four feet away, he does. So. Good. That's difficult to have. Good. And we just met this little dog, but to have them in a downstay while the little dog parades around is great practice for just another way to practice their downstays. And why don't, uh, Darian, why don't we even add a walk around? So let's both walk around our respective puppies. Go, go around the outside like me. Don't drop the leash though. Make sure you always hold the leash. And Darian's, Darian's just learning, so we're teaching everybody at the same time. Walk this way, and then go back in front, and reward. Good, Good. wanna make sure that you're getting everything here. So it's just another great way to practice a solid downstay. Once you, once, once you become comfortable with practicing downstays in the, in the regular way, then you wanna start doing it in odd situations, all kinds of different situations with other dogs around or people uh, out in public, different street corners. And if you do this kind of stuff, they'll just be better all the way around. This, this kind of stuff makes them better 
um, in your house and in your neighborhood. So however you can um, change up the different distractions, in this case it's a little dog, every time you do it like this, different way it's better for them, better for their training, they get better and better this way. Okay, let's get them out of their down stay, stand next to him, pat your legs, say. Okay. okay, make sure you hold on the leash the right way, there you go. Sit. Sit. And release. And say, go. 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 There you go. Free time. Very good. Very good. Very good. See how he's just coming back to you? Yeah. He just came right back to you. Pet him or tell him good Very or something. Good. good. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Good girl.